here's the switch and go Mabuchi motor and uh, the shaft of the motor here of course drives the wheel and to change the speeds you pull these little gizmos out here and without this little speed changer deal it drives the uh, tire directly on here you can turn it around and put it on this way and it drives this surface or you can put it around on this way and it drives this larger thing so it'll go faster so there's three different speeds in a comment in another video I kind of screwed up and said there's two but I pulled this old chassis out that it's went underwater in Katrina so it's all kind of ugly looking but uh, there's three different speeds when it directly drives the shaft I think this is a two millimeter shaft uh, drives the tire directly and then you can go through and change it to uh, intermediate speed with having this piece in contact with the tire you can flip it around and this is for high speed mode when you're not using these things they go over here and store it on this little gizmo here it's a little place you can store the uh, little speed changer deal on here and that's the comment I was making in another guy's grave video. I was just showing the mechanics. Now when this thing goes across the uh, here are the tires here that are floating on the axle and then there's the gear right there when it goes across the uh, pillbox deal uh, that's the gear that engages on the pillbox and the tires are still rotating it's just that the gear is what drives um, on the pillbox. The tires are actually floating off the ground. That's a Mabuchi motor there which is common in a lot of toys. Uh, this end is uh, got a round piece and this has got a hex so when it you won't rotate around it assembles real quick and here's a motor by itself. There's the hex end which is common on a Mabuchi motor DC little motor and then there's the non-hex end on there and there's a little speed changer deal that you flip around and then the how you turn the battery on and off is just this little gizmo over here you flip it back and forth there's where the terminal is exposed and that's not so that's the uh, how you turn it on and off in the wheel it floats on and the track is this little gizmo here that rotates and then the wheel is just a round piece that drops on here I don't know if I've got a wheel over here I think I do the wheel plops in here like this that fits on the uh, rubber tubing Mine, after a while, I got this torn up. I actually took some of these and bored a hole through the middle and put a pin on it because I broke these a couple different times. Uh, this says Mattel, copyright 1965, Hawthorne, California. And uh, here's one of the spare little speed changer deals. And here's, here's one I busted off. That's kind of common where you've taken the body off a bunch of times and you break those little things off. Um, this thing probably still works it hasn't been fired up for ages as you're showing the three different speeds on this thing with the axle here off or intermediate or on you do of course both sides there's the uh, high speed mode these tires are kind of dried out after a zillion years. They kind of feel real hard. But these little pieces here are kind of sometimes get misplaced. Those are the speed change deals. It's a pretty cool little body. Kind of impressed by this thing. These Mabuchi motors like this are... Uh, when they're making toys, they make something like, I remember looking in their catalog 20 years ago and they were making something like the equivalent of, I don't know, 10 or 20 motors a second, you know, during the uh, toy season. But they're very common in 60s 
things. There's all different types of these things. This thing, the winding on it is actually fairly beefy because it's designed to run off one battery, one AA battery, so it's not designed to run off a whole slew of batteries. The chassis on this thing is really pretty robust. This whole deal went underwater and a bunch of crap and uh, Katrina and uh, somebody else's video got me excited about looking at the deal. I remembered the speed change thing so I was just showing how the you change these little I don't know what you call them the speed change little goober things to uh, swap around on the speed. Now when these were brand new the tires are real soft these things have gotten hard like a lot of rubber does with time so may not want to may want to slip on here. When these were new the rubber was a lot more uh, compliant. They've kind of dried out. 